north that uh, basically I drove a two horse, I mean two car, sorry, <laughs> uh, race car hauler up and down the east coast and went to every racetrack. Um, you know, the trailer was over 40 foot long and uh, basically got a lot of experience at 17, 18 years old how to pull a trailer, how to take care of it, and how to make it to where I was going. Um, I've been self-employed for the last 15 years at Hen Automotive. Um, started out uh, one trailer is how we got started on it. I had a friend come in, um, trailer lights didn't work and they've been four or five different places. We went in, we fixed the wiring, and now I service a little over 300 horse trailers every year. Um, so we see a lot of them. I see a lot of crazy stuff also at the same time, a lot of dangerous stuff that people shouldn't, uh, shouldn't be pulling or towing and that type of thing. Um, we handle, at our shop, we handle everything from general maintenance, yearly maintenance, which is wheel bearings, brakes, that type of stuff. We do all our lighting. We do custom fabrication um, as far as even tackling stuff, we build shelves, um, we even go in and replace floors, aluminum floors, steel floors, the wood floors, whatever needs to be done. Um, but like I said, that's just a little bit about me. I've been doing this for a little while. Um, and basically, we're just going to jump in here. If you want to flip over to the first right here. And one of my number one things um, is tires. If you want, let's walk over here right here to this tire right here. We'll go over a couple things on the tires. Um, they make three different style tires, basically. They make a light truck tire, they make a passenger car tire, and they make a standard trailer tire. And every tire, if you look on here, this one right here, you can see they're almost, they all look rather large and big. Um, this right here, every tire will have the, the size of the tire, it's a little hard to see, but it, for a trailer tire, it'll say ST on the front of it for standard trailer. This tire right here is for a, a light truck, it says LT. And this tire, believe it or not, came off um, came off an SUV, but it's still a passenger car tire, and it'll say P in front of the numbers. So you'll have, you know, like I said, the tires, no matter what size they are, everybody says, I got great big giant tires, they gotta work. Doesn't, doesn't work that way. It is all in the construction of the tire and how the tire's made. Um, I don't know if you ever noticed, but if you're pulling your trailer, when you go to turn, you can actually see the tires, they flex, and they're trying to drag underneath the trailer. Um, and this sidewall is made specifically to do that. Um, the construction from here to there, it, it's, it's designed to be able to be dragged and not come apart. You take a light truck tire and you drag it sideways and the steel belts in here start to separate. And you know, like I said, you'll pay a little bit more money for these, but in the long run, it'll, it'll last longer. It'll, it'll perform like it's supposed to. This tire will come apart after a few years, you know, a year or so of it dragging sideways. Um, Prime example of it is right here. Um, I pulled this off a trailer uh, last week, I think. So you can see that the tire's got the steel belts inside, and these belts are woven together, and that's what keeps it there. And the design of a trailer tire, this is not one, but the design, uh, it goes into the sidewall, and it's made to do it. Um, another prime example of this is, see how this tire is cracked right there? It's all dry rotted and coming apart. That is your biggest problem with trailer tires. You will not wear them out. Um, they'll dry rot off first before you wear them out. Um, there's not many, maybe see a few landscapers, that type of stuff that's wearing tires out. But for the occasional horse person who pulls it, you know, once a weekend, something like that, they will, you'll be, up, you'll take your tires <laughs> off that, uh, <laughs> you'll be taking tires off that look perfectly good, but they'll be dry rotted is the problem. And that's something that needs to be checked for once a year without a doubt. Um, this tire, when it came apart, it was on a double axle trailer, um, and basically this is spinning, slapping everything. It hits the tire in front of it, or wherever it's positioned. These steel belts end up puncturing the tire in front of it, and you end up with two flat tires on one side, um, and it doesn't take long at all. This, this probably happened within a half a mile. Um, it started to come apart, and it doesn't take long at all. Um, I have a good example here, too. And 